In this video, I'll be building this pair of barn doors out of reclaimed oak. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, get everything cut to rough length. Uh, we'll come back after we get, get it a little flatter uh, and cut it to the exact length. So those are going to be the rails, the, the long parts of the door. We're going to run those through the joiner. Just the back side of them, we're going to get the back side of them flat so we have a, uh, a flat surface to reference from. And then we'll also run the, the side, you know, one edge through the joiner to get it flat. And uh, on the styles, we'll run the other side through the, uh, through the table saw, which is what you're seeing me doing here. Uh, every, the, the long ones, I, I want to keep the outside edge natural so uh, those do not go through the table saw and those I just tried to get as close as I could all the same size I ran them through the joiner until they were all roughly the same same width now we're back to the miter saw and we're cutting to the exact length after we've got uh, the back side flat and the, and the front edge flat we have a good reference point to uh, to get a good straight cut on the ends Now I'm putting a uh, three-quarter inch dado in all four of these long pieces. And you see I've already done that on several of them there. And then uh, on, uh, I guess you call them the styles, uh, two of them will get that three-quarter inch dado on both sides. And then the top and bottom one will just get, well, are supposed to just get it on one. I end up actually uh, ran, running those through also, and I had to make... Uh, a block to uh, to glue back in there and replace that uh, where I cut that out. So uh, now I'm making some uh, uh, oh some tenons, and uh, this is a little tricky with uh, with the one side being rough cut. The back side is obviously easy because it's flat, but uh, when I go to put the, the face down onto the table saw, I've got to stop and, and measure after my first cut just to make sure my tenon is three quarter inch thick. It's gonna, it's gonna fit inside that, uh, that dado that we put on those long boards. So it needs to be three quarter. So each one, I, after that first small cut, I'll uh, measure it, check the thickness of it, and uh, just as long as it's good, go on. If not, I, you know, I'd make a small adjustment with the table saw and, until I get it, get it the size I want it. Now I'm just going to cut the top and bottom of that. Uh, you can see I've already cut the top of that tenon and uh, the bottom side of that tenon is not going to get cut all the way it's just going to get uh, and I'll zoom in here in a minute and you can see what I'm talking about because part of it has got to stay there uh, you know the rest of the tenon is going to go further and see right there see how that's sticking out so the rest of the tenon is going to go further in to those uh, the rails the long boards uh, but part of it needs to stay, needs to stick out to uh, to fill in that data. I hope that makes sense, uh, and you'll be able to see it a little bit better later. So here I'm just uh, uh, getting these boards ready for glue up. These are going to be we're going to glue these up, and they'll be the panels in the doors. And I'm just running the backside through the planer to get them all roughly the same thickness. And uh, you see later, you know, to keep that the all of the old detail on the front. Um, you know, obviously they're they're not flat, um, and I'll have to do some more work to get those to fit better. But uh, you'll see all that come together here in a little bit. So uh, I flattened one side of those on the uh, on the joiner, running the other side through the table saw, and then we'll get those glued up in the panels.
one thing I didn't film on here, uh, you know, some of these panels have you know some pretty big holes and cracks and things in them, and uh, and I do fill that with epoxy, um, which just adds character to this old wood, but uh, do not have that on film. So we're going to have you know four panels, two to two to each door, and uh, getting those glued up now. And with this this rough old wood like this, uh, you know, you just do the best you can to get it matched up. And you'll see me pull up on it a little bit, hit it with a hammer, and just try to get it all matched up as best as I can. And I'll clean up that glue squeeze out with uh, with some oak sawdust. And that's real fine sawdust that we take out of the uh, oh when we're sanding. That'll come out of our dust collector from sanding. And you can see each panel is a little bit different. Some of them have three boards and some of them have two. It's just the width of the board. And that's just going to add character to the, to the doors whenever, uh, whenever they're done. Yeah, they're not perfectly flat and that's okay. That, uh, once again, that adds character. Uh, the biggest thing there is uh, you know, making sure those you get a good glue joint. So now we're going to cut the... Uh, the mortises into our rails for those uh, uh, styles to to go into. So we already have this three quarter inch dado, and uh, we're going to cut a little deeper. I think that uh, that dado was a half inch half inch deep, and we're going to go in a total of an inch and a half with these uh, mortises. So those styles will go in another inch past that dado, and make a good solid joint. And I didn't film uh, putting the mortises in the in the middle, but uh, basically the same thing. Now we're gonna get the the panels cut the width, and I cut them just a little under, you know, what's what they need to be, so they have a little room to move around in there. Those aren't gonna be glued in place; they're they're gonna be floating panels, uh, so they you know so they're allowed to move inside that door. So we'll get the two long ends uh, uh, squared up on the table saw, and then the two short ends we'll use the track saw to uh, square them up. And once I get that first side cut and flipped it around, I'll, I'll measure from it uh, from both corners and make a mark on both corners and line up to that, and then, then double check it with the square. Did that with all four panels, obviously. Now you can see this wood really change as we sand it. And it's you know it's got to be sanded. Um, you know there's all kinds of dirt and grime on there from a from a hundred years of old wood, but uh, they they turn out beautiful when they get all done. And you can see this is the back side. They're, uh, they're pretty well cleaned up on the back side, but they, they still look really cool. They still have a lot of character. Now here's, uh, here's something that you wouldn't have to do with, uh, with new lumber. So this old wood, you know, it's not flat by any means. So I've got my style stuck on there, and I'm measuring where my, or not measuring, I'm marking where my high points are with a pencil. And then I'm going to come back with a little, little power hand planer 
and uh, and flatten that down a little. You see how tight this is. I've got to use a hammer to knock this off. Way too tight. So I'm going to come back with a with a power hand planer and uh, and flatten out those high spots a little bit. And I'll do that a couple times until uh, until that style fits on there. Until it has a good, nice fit. Still a little tight. Mark the high spots, hit it again. And that's nice. Now this one was so tight I couldn't even get it on, so I used a tape measure to measure, you know, the, the half inch depth, just so I had a line to to base off of where I needed to to run that planer. Now I was able to get it on far enough to uh, to mark my high spots and hit it again. Now before I assemble the door, I'm going to go ahead and put finish on the panels. That way uh, they're finished all the way to the edge. Obviously, once you get the door put together, you wouldn't be able to get finish on the edge. And uh, this is a flat finish from Vermont Natural Coatings. And uh, it, it looks great on this uh, reclaimed wood once it dries. Obviously, it looks wet here, but once it dries, it has a nice flat matte finish. It looks really good. I'll, uh, I'll put a link down in the description to that Vermont Natural Coatings along with you know the other tools that we use throughout this build now I'm sorry for the fuzzy edges on this my uh, uh, camera had issues and uh, I've gotten that fixed so uh, shouldn't have that problem in the future but uh, definitely had fuzzy edges all through this video and I apologize for that I don't build doors very often, but uh, but I enjoy doing it. Maybe I probably enjoy it just because I don't do it very often. And I'm also sorry for the bad camera angle. You can't see what I'm doing around here on top, but uh, we'll lay it down here in a minute. You'll be able to see it better. And if you look close, you can see what I was talking about earlier with those tenons. Um, that little notch on the bottom is filling in that three-quarter inch uh, dado that I cut all the way down that rail. had some issues with that panel on the side it, it did not want to go in there we had to get a chisel out and do some last minute adjustments to get that thing to slide in there and working with this old wood that's the kind of thing you run into I mean it's you know it's not flat so uh, it's a challenge but it's beautiful I love it we finally got it popped in place Double checked everything with the square, it looks good. On to the next door. So there's a really good shot of that uh, of that tenon and what it looks like, and you can see there how the end fills that dado at the end of the rail. And this door went together quite a bit better than the first one. We still had a little issues getting the middle uh, pulled together tight, but uh, but it went together.
Now at this point, the uh, you know the panels are done. They're, they've got finish on them. They're done. But I've still got to get uh, get the rails and styles sanded down and uh, and get finish put on those. And I didn't didn't film finishing that. The last step from here, I uh, uh, the customer just wanted some simple handles on there that uh, that matched the door, so I used some old oak and uh, and made these simple handles uh, and just put them on with with dowels. I use this uh, this dowel jig is is awesome for stuff like this. It centers centers the holes perfectly, and I just lined it up on each end of the the handle so they're all in the same place. And uh, here I'm putting these. Oh, I don't know what you call them, but you stick them in your dowel hole, and they've got a little pin sticking out um, right in the center. So uh, you can put those in your dowel and uh, and place them right where you want them. Tap them with the hammer, and you'll have a little little pin prick there, where you're right in the center of where your dowel needs to be, so you can drill your hole. Now I'm doing that on a block of wood because I'm going to use this this piece of wood to uh, uh, yeah I'm going to obviously use a drill press here to uh, to drill those holes so I have nice straight holes and then uh, I'll use that uh, to guide my drill and get those holes in the exact right place so my handles will just pop right on I'll, I'll put those down in the description too Now here I'm using a biscuit joiner uh, to put a slot along the bottom side of these doors. I've just got that rail there to have a good flat uh, oh, surface to, to work from. And uh, I'm just running that biscuit, biscuit joiner back and forth across the bottom and cutting a slot all the way across the bottom of the door. And uh, that's for the hardware. There's a, there's a little piece that you'll screw to the floor and that'll keep your door from uh, swinging back and forth. It rides inside that slot on the bottom of the door, and in here I'm just drilling holes, to, uh, you know, for the hardware in the top. And if you notice, I've got a, a board clamp to the bottom side of the door, and uh, that's just going to help prevent tear out as the uh, drill bit comes through the bottom side. So we'll clamp that board to the bottom, drill those holes. And that's it. Those doors are done. They, uh, they came out really nice. The customer was very happy with them. If you like this video, uh, it'd be great if you liked and subscribed to our channel. Uh, we're constantly building and making new things. Thanks for watching.